you know that God has told you to do something and you've been saying, not me, Lord, you got it mixed up. Lord, you got to call somebody else. Raise your hand to yourself if you know that you've been called to do something and God is, and you've been telling God, no, not me. No, not me. No, not me. Hallelujah. Amen. Give her another hand clap of praise for that question today. Why not me? A lot of times when we stand up here there to minister to the people, you hear the, the subject, the, the, the term, preaching to the choir? Mm -hmm. She was preaching to the choir. She was preaching to herself today, yeah. as well as to us. Yeah. Why not me? Yeah. Why not me? And she's correct. I did call her on Monday, and I said, will you preach on Sunday? And she, I said, pray about it. She gave me back her yes. Actually, the same day, she gave me back her yes. But I didn't know what God was up to. And about Thursday, he, reached, he spoke in my spirit that I would be going to a conference in Charlotte on Friday and Saturday, and I didn't know um, that I'd be going. I'm like, okay, Lord, let's figure that thing out. He says, you ain't got no excuses. So that's what we do, we give him excuses. He, he said, you ain't got nobody in the hospital for the first time in two months, hallelujah. Amen, amen. He said, you ain't got no service on, 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 on Friday, and you ain't got no excuses. And he said, and you ain't got to worry about, Lord, I got to stay here and listen to you for your word, because you already asked somebody, and she already gave you a yes, so you ain't got no excuses. Amen, amen, amen. So I went to the conference, and I was poured into it. But I didn't know he was going to use me to pour out. Amen. I didn't know. Amen. And so I went to the conference on Friday and I poured out in a way that God had me to pour out. And I was going to trickle on out, wasn't going to go on for Saturday. And I'm like, okay, I got to get home to deal with that. I'm like, my children grown. Why am I rushing that home? You know? And I told the minister who was over the uh, event that. I would be, not be there on Saturday, on Saturday, and I told all the ladies I would be there on Saturday. And then the minister sent a message, oh, I'm clean today. I said, well, the Lord just didn't release me just for Saturday, hallelujah, Friday, hallelujah. But I got convicted, and I was there on the front row in my riding pants and my riding shoes, looking like a riding child of God. <laughs> I, like, no, I went to the back and he pulled me to the front. I'm like, no, I ain't dressed for the front row. <laughs> but God still used me. Amen. So what he said to me in that day, he said again to me this morning, stop making excuses about what you can't do for me, what you can't be for me. Well, you can't go for me. Because if she, as she said, when he gives you a, an assignment, he empowers you for the assignment at that time. Yes. Oh, yes. So let's give her another hand clap of praise for bringing not just the word, but bringing truth into our spirit. As I said, he was setting her up. Melanie and Elder Taylor come to the front. Mm -hmm. Mr. Dove stand behind. Look at me. Elder Taylor, Elder, Elder Talisha, come stand behind him. I know you don't feel good, but come on back. No, baby, stay there. You're not feeling good. Hallelujah. Pam, come stand behind him. He was setting you up, man. He told me months ago I would be doing this. Dad, he laughing at it because he knew I was going to do it. He didn't know I didn't know, but he knew in the spirit. The apostle said to you when he was a few here a few weeks ago, he looked at you on that front row and said, you shall pastor one day, and you said, no, not me. No, not me. I'm a licensed minister. 
licensed by Reverend L. V. Scott. I write October the 13th, 2009. I was ordained into the ministry in December, I think it was 2015. And so today, it is my great privilege and honor to license you into the ministry of Jesus. Certificate of license, validating Melanie Skinner Ross, which is your request. It reads Matthew 6, 9 to 10. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Listen to me, Melanie. The will of God the Father has been established in the heart of Pastor Dr. Yvonne Scott Miller by the Holy Spirit. To establish God's will in the earth, we hereby license as a minister of the gospel of Jesus the Christ, Melanie Skinner Ross. I thereby for admonish you according to the word of 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, yeah. rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. It is sealed August the 27th, 2023, with my name and the logos of one Lord ministry. Present it to him and let him present it to his wife. joy of the Lord will be her strength. We thank you that you would meet every need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus in her life. We thank you, Lord, that she is the example that you've called her to be a woman who walks after holiness and righteousness. We thank you, Lord, that you're going to strengthen her mind and her thoughts and her body in the name of Jesus. God, even though she may not think this is for her God. Let the will of God be fully done in her life. You complete the work that you've called for her to do, God. You order her steps in the name of Jesus. You guide her wherever you want her to go, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Fine tune her thinking, God. To let her know it's not about her, God, but it's all about you. It's all about you. Thank you, Lord. 
even when she's in the grocery store, God, and you've called her to encourage somebody, let her walk in the boldness that you ordained for her life. We thank you for her husband, God. We thank you that he would speak life unto her. We thank you, God, that they walk together as the example of love. Just as Christ has loved the church, you gave that example in marriage. We pray, God, that you would touch his body in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that you would strengthen him, God, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, God, that they would walk as one. God, those days when they just don't know what to do, you speak into their lives. You order their footsteps according to your word. You renew their strength. You allow their joy to come up. You bring back to their remembrance through the Holy Spirit. We thank you, God, for their lives. We thank you for the love that's over their lives, God. We thank you that it's all about you and not about them. And we thank you that the will of God shall be fulfilled in their lives in the name of Jesus. We thank you in Jesus' name. Jesus' name, I pray and I give thanks. 